I was a lost. Um, at the time, I guess I would have been 52 years old. Um, on the outside, everything appears great, you know, great kids, great life, great home, great dog. Um, and on the inside, I was just confused, lost, um, definitely suffering from some post-traumatic stress of childhood, which I know a lot of people are, and just did not know how to get better. I've suffered from having a eating disorder since I was about 12 years old. And then uh, in the last, say, five years, kind of started drinking a lot more every evening, four o'clock, you know, glass of wine, oh, two glasses of wine, oh, bottle of wine. And uh, so between those two things of uh, uh, being a bulimic and going to alcohol to numb the sensations that were in my body that I didn't understand or know what to do with, um, I was not feeling very well and uh, was really starting to have bad, bad ideas in my head about, well, maybe it's just too hard to be here. Found this podcast, <laughs> a great podcast with Sinclair. And I listened to every one of them and I thought, okay, I think there's something here. Yeah. Decided to do the rise in a line six months. Right after I paid for it, I was like, wow, what have I just done? Six months. It's insane. <laughs> it went by so fast. Mm -hmm. And you had a program laid out like it's like a book and just perfectly done with meditations, with uh, instruction. You know, we could do journaling. There, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm way more prepared to set my intention and allow the process of the medicine to do its its job. And then integrated after going through all the worksheets that you, <laughs> you've given us. Family. Of course, the first uh, Zoom call with everyone was a little awkward, <laughs> but by the end we were sharing stuff with, you know, intimate details with each other that you just don't share with other people in your life because uh, they don't understand and they haven't been there and they haven't opened up this part of a, our world so and I felt like sharing those details that I I think have caused me a lot of guilt and shame actually saying the words talking about things um, also helped with healing and everyone I think also felt the same way it was men and women different age groups and uh, uh, yeah family like I can truly say that I love these people and I'm probably never going to meet them. <laughs> My favorite part was actually, yeah, the workbook material. <laughs> and well, and, and again, it, just, it did push me, well, doing the work, the creative stuff, because I'm not really a creative person. So it made me, you know, uh, find a different outlet that I've never used before. Um, yeah. I think probably bringing out the creative side of me was my favorite part because there was one point and I don't think I even told you this Sinclair where I actually ripped up all my work you so did no you didn't tell me papers like this and I was just having these emotions and uh I don't remember exactly what was happening but I just ripped it all all out of the book and it was all over the place like a little child right <laughs> which sometimes you act like when you've endured trauma as a child and uh, my wonderful husband put it all together and hid it so that you know it would be there for me when I knew I would regret throwing it away and uh, that actually made me read all the stuff again because I'm like you know to you know like from uncrumpling it and I'm like oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah right oh yeah right so that hard stage actually took me, you know, over a, a, a big hill that I needed to get over. And then from that point on, it, I, it just, things just rolled, you know, and kind of uh, all the work that I'd done the first four months up to that blow up just started to make sense. And my life started to make sense and I started feeling good inside and making good, good, uh, 
choices. You know, one of the things you had was a daily uh, habit tracker. And I did really simple things like, I'm gonna eat three pieces of fruit. Every day I'm gonna eat three pieces of fruit. And I tracked that for a month. And then next thing you know, I'm always eating three pieces of fruit. You know, eight glasses of water was would be my next thing. Okay, yep. Yeah. So absolutely, like I, actually it's beat my expectations for sure. Yeah, above and beyond, above and beyond. Absolutely, and I can say I'm Canadian, so it cost me a little bit more with the exchange being what, 35% or something. And um, absolutely, like, well, first of all, the work that you put into it, I don't, you know, I feel like you didn't get paid enough. <laughs> but uh, of course it needs to be accessible uh, as well. Uh, absolutely worth every cent. Is there anything else you want to share about your experience? Like anything you would want to tell us? One day at a time. Um, you know, really one day at a time. And on those hard days, just, you know, know that that day is going to end and it, the next day will be better. Mm-hmm.